Welcome to Superb Story Time in a Time, where we derive wonderful life skills, life values from simple and beautiful stories. Let's get started today. We have something more than a story. We have a discussion. We are going to understand about consumption. Anybody knows what is the meaning of the word consumption? What is consumption? Coach, consumption can be different types of consumptions, whether it can be consumption of food, consumption of knowledge, consumption of knowledge, um, like consumption of social media, whether it's good or bad. And consumption of food can be like eating healthy food or junk food. Wonderful, great. But I don't think studies, uh, knowledge is not common to consume. It's like we're gathering knowledge. I don't think we use the word uh, knowledge as consumption. You you check, okay? I'm also not very sure about this. So today we are going to have a discussion on mindful consumptions. Understanding between needs and wants. Shall we begin? A few scenarios that we are going to talk about. Yes. Mindful consumption. Over time, I've realized that I'm taking more from the universe than I ever give back or I'm ever able to give back to the universe. The constant exercise of differentiating between needs and wants has been an eye-opener. Ready? Shall we pick up? Yes. Do you really need water that is, uh, that is being poured in my glass in the restaurant? We go to a restaurant. What does the waiter do? First come in pour water, correct? Do we really need it? Yes Sometimes or no? Just, just, sorry? Sometimes no. Sometimes no. So how, how can we work on that? Why? Because the reason is, anybody else, other views also, all views are views. Sashikala ji says, Sometimes, no. Coach, we exactly don't need that water because you don't know where that water came from. Okay. Then what is drinking water only? I don't think people have any malicious intent. It'll be usually drinking water. Only. So do we really need that water to be poured in the restaurant? Uh, the author writes, sometimes we drink. Sometimes we leave, so the water will, after all, if they did not drink, do you think it still goes back to the bottle or the jug or the water uh, saving uh, vessel or something like that as it go? Where do you think it goes? Drink. Drink. When not drunk, drain it. So we can be aware of that, correct? Isn't it? Thank you, Sashikala ji. Do I really need to buy need to wrap the gift by buying free gift wrapping paper. Uh, if you see sometimes in a shop, they will do free gift wrapping, correct? Have you seen in Amazon, you can add on to the gifting option. Sometimes it is charged, sometimes it is not charged. Okay, the question here is, sometimes the shopkeeper will say, sir, we put free gift, free gift wrap. Do we really need to do that? Come on, every, everybody. She, what do you think? It's just a question. Sailesh, what do you think? Yukta, what do you think? Yeah, of course. Like, it's needed to because when you're going to someone's birthday party and if you don't have time, then you may uh, you may need it. Okay. What anybody else thinks? Come on. What do you think, Kriyashmit? It is not needed. Uh, when, uh, when, first of all, birthday party is uh, being present, is itself, uh, is itself not needed, but, uh, coach, wrapping, it's, uh, wrapping is not needed, but the problem is, uh, our, the one sector in our brain will free, everybody likes free. Okay, P-R-O-B-A-L-E-M. Huh? It's not said. Said the band 
of me and 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 now what will you do band sir 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 set ups which one you want to choose i do set ups very nice great yeah. wonderful because we should not use those band words correct lovely yes so this is what uh, yukta what do you think she nandana what do you think yashmit says that it is really not needed and uh, he has a different view about uh, parties itself what do you guys think sales what do you think since the free gift wrapping facility is available should we use it no coach even if we want to give a gift gift to someone we can reuse paper coach there's not nothing in need it's not a very important thing to use that option okay this is what one of the views is because that shiny or non biodegradable paper or the film is going to be thrashed was the gift is open and add on to the earth no yeah do i really need to buy gifts when i am not sure if they'll be used or needed by the receiver because i want to look good we go to birthday parties or something functions and we want to just give a gift but we are not even sure whether they'll be used by the receiver do i really need to buy gifts or what can we do see just because just because everybody is gifting it's a norm it's a tradition that everybody has to you should we do it what do you think coach uh, we should like uh, if you think that that uh, that receiver may not use it you should buy something useful uh, you should like gift someone something useful like flowers or plants something like that flowers always are used plants are used yeah coach you should give plants as a gift correct again once again all answers are answers no right or wrong okay great yeah so the author says Isn't it wise wiser to buy dry fruits or buy fruits with the same amount of money, and will certainly that will be consumed. People will have that fruits or dry. What do I do when I am at a buffet? Yes, we go to a buffet. Salish, we go to a buffet. What we we are supposed to? she i want you to also participate these are very simple questions have you ever been to a buffet then what do you do okay so everything will be uh, all the food will be open for us we can take choose anything and take anything yeah coach yeah coach so whatever you are taking in the buffet you should take it uh, according according that it fills your stomach you should not overeat it should fill your stomach you should have some quantity in that nice siddhi fabulous siddhi come to the answer directly when you unmute we all can hear directly unmute and come straightly to the point yeah coach uh, you need to eat as much as you can eat like as much as you need does it uh, just because there's a buffet and just because your eyes want it doesn't mean that your stomach needs it true so the author says do i listen to my stomach or fill my plate with anything and everything available because it is free or because i paid for it that is what it is yes wonderful yes what do you do What do I do when the guy at the subway, the food chain offers me two forks? When you go to a subway or you go to all this, or go to and fork is your napkin square. I'll be eating alone. When you are eating alone, when you go to subway or any of this place, they'll give you four tissue paper. They'll give you a bunch of tissue, paper. and they'll give you two forks. What do what should you do? give them back to the person saying that you only need one uh, one fork and one tissue instead of wasting the other tissue wonderful she what do you think i am not able to hear any answer from you. sailesh 
assembling coach. It is it is discussion. It is discussion, challenge, participate. Yeah. yeah. Instead of taking two books, take one book and one tissue. You don't have to waste the other Say that. Uh, she leader, you are doing this morning ritual on what? On a phone or what? Laptop, coach. Oh, this laptop, hardly we can hear anything. The mic is an issue. Or check the mic volume. The mic volume could be there. Yeah. Of So, here for the say we can have a napkin. Ah, wonderful. Very nice. Is it carry your own hanky or your own napkin? And uh, just, and instead of the, we know the forks and the spoons, one eaten will be just thrown away. You can take your own. That is the best. And you put Yeah, spoon on the floor. Correct, no, isn't it? Just okay. because something which is biodegradable, should I use it? No. Because sometimes biodegradable things also have affected, uh, affect the soil. Wonderful. Okay. And Siddhi, toilet, toilet papers are there, right? Toilet papers and tissue papers are biodegradable, correct? If that is biodegradable, she should we still use it? Why not? Or why yes? Coach, even though it's biodegradable, doesn't mean that we have to use it because it's a waste of resources and it can also be toxic to the environment biodegradable things are mostly not toxic the design should be non toxic they will biodegrade in some kind of time yeah those, so those, are, uh, by, uh, those the tissue papers are biodegradable better not uh, like better not waste it okay even if you're using biodegradable uh, resources, it should be very, like, you should use it very mindfully. These resources are getting over so, so fast. So here it says that Okay, here it says that even if you use biodegradable things, there are trees which are getting chopped for it. Tissue paper and all the trees are getting chopped. Do we really want to do that? No, coach. Not Correct, isn't it? Yeah, we can just go wash our hands. Correct? Uh, when we go and eat a thali, what happens when we go and eat a thali? Yeah. When we go and eat a thali, we get so many items. What should we do? I couldn't hear it properly. Uh, Shailesh, it says, when I go and eat the thali, question mark. Thali has many dishes. Yeah. She Coach, uh, speak. Coach uh, while eating a thali, you will get many variety of foods. Many a variety of all curries and everything. But you need to take what is what is needed and then give back what, what you don't need. Instead of wasting... You should give back what you don't need. Ah, uh, yes. Coach, uh, you can share the thali with someone so it gets over and not waste any uh, food item. Very nice. So the author says, there are so many things I know I may not eat. For example, katori of dahi or a Bengal mithai or kara kolam or something. I should return it immediately. One answer came from she that you can share it immediately that it can be offered to someone else. If we leave it sitting on the plate, it will be untouched and later on it will be only thrown away. Even though it is untouched, what will it be done? After we leave the uh, leave the plate, we throw it away. Immediately when it gets served to us, we can give it back. Do I really need that cotton kurti? Because it looks cool. It is in fashion. Do I really need the cotton kurti just because it looks fashionable? And uh, oh, yes. Silk kurti. Silk kurti. Cotton kurti. Because it looks cool. Coach, just because it looks cool, 
you should not buy it but to your size means the kurta should be of your size then only you can buy it. whatever it's not about the size is another question here yeah. Well, it's not uh, necessarily supposed to buy if it's fashionable, but if you actually like it, then you can buy it for sure. So the fashion industry is far more evil than what meets our eyes. From what we see, uh, what it does to the environment while growing cotton and jute, to how it treats a human and how it treats textile, the garment waste, the garment waste is mind-bogglingly dirty. The huge amount of waste that happens in terms of energy processes and uh, process waste when a single piece of garment gets made. Do we see all that? No, we can be mindful. We need it. We need it. Then we buy. Otherwise, just it is looking fashionable. Oh, wow, that looks good. No point. My view. Do I really need that extra pair of shoes because I don't have that particular shade of orange? Yes, please answer quickly. Of course. Uh, Many of, questions. Instead of, you know, choosing a specific color, you can have a neutral color that will fit with every other color, such as blue and black. Okay. Come on, come on, answer quickly. It's not needed, Coach. She already has shoes. Why does he have to buy another extra? Very nice. It's waste of money. Do I need to account that once it is processed, the footwear is almost impossible, impossible to de de uh, degenerate on the face of the earth, including leather. Do you know that leather is not biodegradable? Do you know that leather will never biodegrade? Yeah. Do I need to cook elaborate meals when guests visit me? When guests come to your home, you should we need to make you this thing? Yeah, what do you think? Coach, no, it's coach. It, like uh, it's not necessary to cook a such a huge meal. Uh, you should cook according to the number of guests you have at home. Because most most probably what happens when guests come, so much of food is left out. It gets shoved into the fridge. Give it off to some people. Give it off to the lady who comes to work. Isn't it? Ye bacha wa hai. This is left out. Ide, ide mitcher ke. Correct? Yes, Sashikala ji was saying something. Yeah. No need, ji. Actually, it's a, a way of pleasing them. Yeah. That uh, they should tell, oh, super, you gave me a very good food like that. It's not needed. Yeah. So, this is what? This is about want and need. Very nice. Can I cook enough so that include everybody, including me, myself, have a great time? And no food is wasted. Yeah. Isn't it? Ah, this is a nice one. Do I need to buy things just because it is on sale? They put no sale and they are cheaper. Why? They suddenly say very cheap. 50% off, 70% off, 80% off. Do we really need to buy those? Silesh, I have not got any answer from you. Coach, it depends if you are like on an urge to shop and you suddenly see that sale, you can go and buy. But if you're simply going and buying just for the sake of sale, then it's a no use. It's a waste of money too. Great. Right. Anybody else wants to add? Coach, like if you're, bu if you're buying something just because in sale, that's that's a waste of money, coach. Then it's no use of it. Then later you're not using that. There's no use of sale then. Wonderful. City, oh, yeah. wonderful. You are now making your communication much more intact. Avoid repetition also, not needed. Come to the point straight up. Yeah. Sailesh. Um um coach, I um, on sale things you shouldn't buy that much. Also, your house will get messy. 
one because minute. people uh, all the time will be buying sales great so sales will happen that is just basically again a way of commercialization consumption in wanting pushing us tempting us we need to buy that's ha huh. am i respectful when i'm visiting a tourist destination am i respectful while i am visiting a tourist destination yes coach you should be respectful to everyone and plus yeah. adults also so this one says yes we should be mindful of what kind of a garbage we are creating littering the places with uh, paper cups and uh, all the other things that we once used to water bottle and all that yeah what else can i do mindfully how else can you live mindfully any one of you have any suggestions how you can for this everyone should answer one one how can you be mindful Respecting your day every day, how you can improve being mindful in terms of the planet. Yeah, understanding what are your wants and needs. Correct. Great. Very nice. Spending money useful. Uh, I mean wisely. Very nice. Thank you so much, Sri. Both using electricity wisely. <clears throat> I know why you were silent so long. the best answer ever selish did i tell you i love you guys nice. uh, what is come on everybody coach like uh, buying buy useful things and using electricity electronics all wisely at a time equal amount of time great again Siddhi, think, rethink, and then put it there. Using electrical, electrical equal amount of time. What is the meaning of that? Think. Wonderful. Yes. Think before I speak. Ah, oh, nice. That's also wonderful. We are talking in terms of the planet consumption and all that. Yes. Using water resources usefully. Great. Yes, water is. We think it's free, and we just keep wasting. Yeah. Both we can be disciplined in life. Very nice about the way we use things. Coach, we need to use food wisely. We need to eat. We need to cook as much as we uh we need. True. Exercises have consequences too. we are using what? many of the things thinking it is perennial we it's like it's going to be there with us forever but we have to be mindful about that coach oh, for 626 coach do, uh, do not uh, do not you uh, do not waste anything whether it's food or whether it's water whether it's electricity do not waste anything use as much as you want thank you siddhi siddhi again cut it down coach do not waste any anything example water food electricity reduce it yes ha ah, she people should start uh, recycling non biodegradable degradable waste one of recycle reuse refurbish what you have to use everything wisely yes the idea of this session was till end the session our idea of this session was to become mindful about needs and want there is no end for want but needs are always this mahatma gandhi will end this session mahatma gandhi said there is enough enough on the planet for every man's need but it is the world is very small for man's greed need should not become into greed 
ये भी चाहिए वो भी चाहिए ये भी ले लो वो भी ले लो ये कर लो वो कर लो वी आर गोना पे अज प्राइस अदर्स आर पेइंग ह्यूज प्राइस बिकॉज ऑफ आर ग्रीड ओनली यूज व्हाट वी नीड नीड एंड ग्रीड आर very important that we analyze thank you so much jukta over to you let's get started everybody please sit in vajrasan yes everybody close your eyes <coughs> you can lay a little bit your head because your face you can't see yeah little bit more just the lid the lid ha ah, this is okay great everybody let's get started keep your eyes closed from now over to you for taking the lead Let's start with all the nasal breathing. <clears throat> <clears throat> Let's start with our uh, bee breathing. Six counts. Hum. 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 <clears throat> Hum. Hum. Let's start with energizer. Twenty counts. Hmm. 
Let's start with gratitude. Thank you, self. Cr uh, cross your hands. Thank you, self. Thank you, self, for being such an amazing person. Always so kind, always so caring. Thank you, self, for always being focused on your goals. Thank you, self, for always being 100% coachable. Thank you, self, for always using all your resources wisely. Thank you, self, for always knowing the difference between a need and a want. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Tupelo, for support your mom and your dad for always being there for you. They've given you everything you need, whether it's food to eat, a shelter to live in, or clothes to wear. They've given you love and care throughout your life. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank your family and your friends for always being there for you. For always being there whenever you've needed them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank your gurus, your teachers, your coaches for always being tough on you, for always leading in the right direction. Thank them for always pushing you to your limit. Thank Mother Nature for, for always giving you resources like food, water, oxygen, paper. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank the God, the Almighty, for always giving everything in abundance, whether it's life, health, wealth, education, kindness, truthfulness, honesty knowledge. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank the God, the Almighty, for giving a soul with a purpose, a soul with a why, a soul with a mission and vision. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now visualize a bright white light coming right towards you. This bright white light enters through your head, goes down your face, your neck, your chest, your hands, your fingers, your fingertips goes down your stomach, your thighs, your knees, your calves, and your toes. Let it over to your head, fully blessed with the bright white. Now, we're in the right state of mind to visualize our goals, our purpose, our mission and vision. Visualize your long-term goals, your short-term goals, your mid-term goals, your goals for today, your goals for tomorrow. Start. I let go of your hands. Hands in your heart will repeat after me. I'm amazing. I'm powerful. I'm intelligent. I'm truthful. I'm honest. I'm caring. I'm kind. I take care of my environment. I know the difference between a need and a want. I always take how much ever I need. I'm lovable, I'm capable, I'm valuable, and I'm a superb human. Then drop claps, one, two, three, four, five, whoosh. Last one. Second one. Last one. When your eyes and see this world is a better place. Live powerfully, live purposefully. You are in need of support. Victor, can you call me right up?
Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Sachin and I am a life coach. I use games, activities and exercises to teach young champions valuable life skills and study skills which help them become number one in studies and number one in life. Continue to watch our videos, share them, subscribe to our channel and please do comment. It'll help us, it'll inspire us to make more good content like this. Thank you so much for watching our channel. Also do visit our website. Thank you so much.